is living a good life enough? I like the idea of a God of love, but I don't like the idea of a God who judges. Why does a loving God have to judge and hold people accountable? A few years ago, I was on holiday with my family in France. We'd been skiing. My children were uh, quite young and they were strapped into the car. We were driving on our way home on the French auto route. My husband and I had had an amazing holiday. We were ready to drive home and pay all the tolls. The music was loud and we were singing our hearts out. Suddenly we saw the blue flashing lights of the French police behind us pulling us over and they were going to fine us. The fine was 90 euros and I did everything I could to try and get out of it. I uh, tried saying, well, you know, we're English, we didn't know. That didn't work. We tried saying, well, send us the bill in the post, but they don't do that in France. So we had to hand over our precious 90 euros. As we drove away, I was absolutely furious at this injustice. We'd hardly been speeding at all. And I was saying to my husband, this is because we're English. The French are persecuting us. They've picked on our number plate and picked us out. And he said to me something very interesting. He said, we did break the law, admittedly only by four kilometers an hour, but we did break the law. What happened here was just. It didn't feel just, but it was just. How we feel about judgment really depends on where we stand with regard to that judgment. When we're the perpetrator, when we've stepped over a line, we don't like judgment. But when we're the victim, we feel differently about it. A few months earlier, I met with a friend um, who lived nearby to me whose partner had just been released from prison. She had a restraining order against him, but when he got out, he came straight to her house and he beat the living daylights out of her. She was unrecognisable. Her head swelled up to an enormous size and she nearly lost the use of one of her eyes. When I saw her, my heart cried out for justice for her. I wanted judgment for the perpetrator of this crime. I loved the victim, so I cried out for justice. In other words, love motivated me to want judgment. When I'd been caught by the police, I didn't want judgment, but now my friend was a victim, I did want it. What we believe about justice and judgment is very often shaped by where we stand personally with regard to judgment. If we're the perpetrator, we've stepped over a line, we want to evade, to escape judgment. If we're the victim, our heart cries out for judgment. In the Bible, we meet a God who holds love and justice together. They're indivisible. It's because he loves the world that he must judge evil and the abuses that have been done to people. So I'd want to turn the question on its head. Could we even talk about a God who's loving, who didn't judge? Would it be possible for a God who loved not to judge? Mustn't a loving God actually be a God who judges?